back. Axe is back. He should probably, I'm sure he probably knows. What? I'm human again. At night time. Yeah, yes, no, he's cured. Whoa. Ouch. Acid is Acid is Oh, Hey guys, welcome back to the quarry. This is, uh, I believe this is the final part. Should be, because we're gonna, we'll, either end credits or the end credits don't take that long. But, uh, yeah. We got time to finish it. We got two targets left, of course. We got Silas and Caleb. See what it took. You know how this will be for the reason why we restarted this. Is to obviously survive. And the hat. Why not? She Hi, I'm Max Kearney. How's everyone going? saw before the reason why we died is obviously the swimming to the shore so yep we gotta stay and there you go there's max alive at all he's now survival guaranteed oh the lodge yeah it's gonna be hard with no silver shells because you need abigail and emma or one of them to, to kill him with a silver shell that's, we're gonna have to do it in the freeze the same thing as the everyone dies guide. Okay. Like putting them in the freezer. Nice. Hopefully Thankfully I have the toy, so that's, that's, that's why I have the toy for the reason. first. And here we go. Right here, this portrait. How long has this guy been here? It's like Biff Tannen. <laughs> definitely prepare for the attack. 
this is, that's, this is where we start. Here comes a werewolf, I can feel it, gets killed. It's like, why'd you pick it then? What the? Oh, hi, Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Oh, Jesus. than Chris. I mean, they're all aggressive, but... I mean, all these werewolves are really aggressive and wild. Window. This time, beam is too risky. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Dylan didn't make it for that time. So obviously, that for that cause, yeah, it's called Final Girl Set, but Bricks and Mortar. It's not a, I think it's Bricks and Mortar. Yeah. From what I heard, or from what I saw. Yeah, it looks like Bowser. <laughs> you gotta run, keep running. Hiding's way too risky. Even though I know how to do the don't reset method. Come on, come on. Yeah, we got no choice. That's a war. There is no choice now. Risk because she's not infected. If she was infected, the yeah, Caleb would ignore her. You know that red logo, then, or the red little thing, you'll know where to go. Uh, freezer. Yeah, you gotta use that. Gotta lure him in this time. Successfully. The only difference we're gonna, you're gonna see out of this. Use that decoy. Throw him right in. safe. Now, Silas is the only one left. The final 
Sim. Did we say a custard? Let's try that. How'd you do it? How'd you How do what? How'd you do it? Oh, keep him in jail. How did you just keep two yeah, innocent that one. people I know. locked yeah. up for two months and not even blink? Yeah, not tell us about Silas. Oh, cool, man. That is, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. What I had to was necessary. Wow. Wrong yeah, answer. Okay. Necessary? You stole well, that two tell months me about anything of my life. Before, yeah, like a whole you month, you didn't tell me about any of the whole thing. ever be the same because of you. It's like, damn. But at least I can move on. You know, I'll heal. You're the one who has to live with what you've done. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. He's not taking the bait. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf. Yeah, we're gonna let, we're gonna let Travis, we are gonna let Travis go. Uh, no matter what we did. Right at the end. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Despite how much it sucks son of a bitch is finally here because yeah he could see it so he, 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 he lived he lived in our first one like i said with dylan so yeah plus you know his whole his whole family is, is gone is. now so might as well and driving down the middle of the road like, whoa oh yeah silence ah, man he really clopped us Ooh. Ooh. nice catch I think I knocked out Ryan too. Take the wheel. Don't get that gun. The gun, get the gun doesn't do anything. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! He must have hit it. I think he, yeah. His head looked like he hit the wheel. Come on! Wake up! Okay, there you go. Okay. I got it. I got it. Could have crashed. Christ. Ah. Or do we stop? Do we hit, hit him and stop? Because it looked like they yeah, yeah. Be nearby. were held up. Half updated. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Yeah, because it's not really fair that he's the only family member left. You're okay. So I might as well, yeah, guess you might, might as well do it. It's not really fair to him. Over here! Got some blood. Blood? The, the trail of blood. Leads out here. Yeah. Still doing that hair glitch that Lara is always getting all the time. Their hair, the hair effects fold oh, right in her scalp. Or, not her scalp, her whole head. Ooh. It's like it folds in, looks like she's got bang, like a bob cut. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Now it's like, looks like it's long again. This is where we Now it's short again. <laughs> so weird looking. It's common for most of the players. You should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. I don't understand That's that you want to why stop you it. said that to me. What? Sounds like, looks like Travis has got little suicidal tendencies. Or thoughts. Normally? Well, that's I not suicide. He, he would have shot just but shoot yourself so high risk. risk. But he's just asking. That's just like be suicide. Killed. Or more like, you know. You ready to end Yeah, it can't be suicidal because it's, you know, be himself. Let's do it. We gotta end it. Let's fucking do this. Go to. The vial. Uh, yeah, that's right, the one that Bobby dropped. We wouldn't oh, have that if I didn't shoot him. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. Let's just split it. 
Does it matter? Does it have to be a whole vial on your like there's one person? Everyone deserves to get out of this alive with you. I'm still yeah, I'll still take it. Whatever. Thanks. Okay. That means a lot. Yeah, uh yeah, no worries. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it smells horrible. It's wolf blood. This game has a lot of interesting types of outcomes too, like when it comes to ending wise. I heard it's got like almost 150 ending scenes. It's amazing. Uncool vibes and flashbacks yeah, and you crashed. This is where I saw her. Completely. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible what you're talking about. I saw her too. In the rock tunnels. Mm-hmm. Silas and Boris. Silas's mother, I th think. Who was she? Who was she? <laughs> you could be annoyed and be like, we think? Yeah, she made a trap. I think she's so. I think she's so. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. You think she's Silas's mother? Or are you pretty fired. sure about that? Some she never left. The hack of hack is Corey. Well, she died in that explosion when she witnessed the whole thing burn down. We've been looking for like we saw before. But like I said, you can't have that unless if both Emma and Abigail are dead, which is what the case has happened here. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? Yeah, come on, Travis. Tell us everything. Well, I know what he says. You have to head off my niece, Kaylee. Oh, yeah. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. Plus, he's like real. Plus, you know, he's also real depressed about Kaylee. So, feel a little bad. Locked in a cage by that freak. I mean, what'd you also expect? You know, there's werewolves out in the wild. They're in danger. You know, they're in danger. Humans, of course, are going to kill them if you don't. You know, solve the whole thing. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. Forest is haunted. Then a lot of people get just died in that explosion. It's probably like 20 spirits haunting the forest. Or the woods. Forest, woods, whatever. That's why you've been hunting him. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Her hair's been staying down lately, so. Years. like it. Six years. Some hunter you are. <laughs> She must be wearing Travis's, uh, uh, she must be wearing uh, Constance's uh, nightgown. Because <laughs> that, yeah, that doesn't belong to uh, Jesus Christ. her. Man. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. Yeah, Negative. And Ted Ram, you, uh, you did a great job at I playing this was here. This, you're a sheriff, you, or just, just doing this role in general. It, uh, you did an awesome job. 100, 100 out of 100, along with everybody else out there. Right? Yeah, I'd be running like crazy away. I'd be. I'm sorry, that was close. I mean, think, reminds me of like sleep paralysis. You guys ever get sleep paralysis? It's freaky. They say sleep paralysis is like the dead trying to make contact with you or get your attention. For those of you who believe the paranormal side, I do. And then, you know, it's okay if people that don't want to admit to it, 
that actually do, might, that you think, just, that actually could believe it, it's okay to admit it, you know, because it could be, you know, maybe there's fan. it's good, that, it's, be it. that might be, you never know, like your family that Care. passed away, maybe they just like, there's nothing wrong with that, really. At least if they're still on that, like, the earth. But yeah, that goes along with everybody that did the, did all the roles of the of this game. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Silas is healing up. the gun this time. I'm gonna hesitate. Laura! Do it. He's just a boy! He's responsible for so much death. Says you! Do it! No! He's gonna fail it purposely. Yeah. Give me the gun. Just be patient. Oh! Give it. Oh! Give it a minute. Oh man, careful. Ooh. That's that can happen. What are you doing? Yeah, sorry, Travis. It's your it was your time. And Brutal. Okay. Bam! Done. And and shout out to D JJ Dunlap for playing the werewolves. I believe including Please, Silas as well. Let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Huh. Let's check our um our charts of all of our paths. Or most of them. Yeah, the fool's Aaron, sabotage, yeah, no repairing. Out of the work, rabbit hole. I try. I actually checked it. What am I saying? I actually checked these all off camera. Uh, Laura used it. White whale, and then, and then the line of infection. Who was bitten? Yeah, only Max, who didn't get bit by Silas. And we locked Caleb in the freezer, and now he's dead because he's his curse is broken. And now he's gonna freeze. <laughs> Looks like she's gonna get pulled in in that picture. Okay, yep. There you go. I bet you think you have it all figured out. Mm -hmm. I, bet you I did. You're fucking I accomplished clever. my mission. I, I tried to end the whole you. curse. Is what I, I did. tried to warn you. And that's even started to like you. Oh man, I feel, I feel so good. No, not to finally this. do this. To finally have beaten I it. I not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the nights come to an end. No. <laughs> Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the Shadow oh, the back of my neck. That's gross. The back of your neck. That's gonna be me. <sighs> I'll be there. No, yeah, will you? Never leave you. Oh, I'll, I'm gonna know it's you. So, so you can't fool me this time. <laughs> She's like, oh, the night's over. I have to accept it. <laughs> All right, and there you go. And results, of course. It's a good song. This is like the perfect song to for like an ending of a game. It's amazing. I'll read them this time. Cold, 
Max Brindley's alive. He survived the night and was cured of the world curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett with silver. Emma Mountain. She fell to her death. Emma fell to her death when she failed to grab the zip line. Homecoming Queen. After losing his hand, Dylan was killed by a werewolf at the scrapyard. Poor Dylan. He wasn't on my list. Bobby Hackett deceased. He was mauled to death. Bobby's mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Still mad looking. Jed was massacred by his werewolf son, Chris. He is destroyed. Chris was killed with his favorite counselor. Ryan shot him with silver. Laura shot Constance's face off in the struggle for the gun. Werewolf Nick was shot dead by Laura when she mistook him for Chris. Oh, what can it mean to her? Chris Hackett. Second daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for Werewolf Chris. Oh, Abigail had her demise when Nick tore her head from her body. And Jacob, he always moves like that. Jacob was fatally shot when Ryan aimed the gun and blindly into the bushes. Caitlin survived the, by luring Caleb into the freezer using the lost rabbit toy left by Abby. When Silas was killed, Caleb lost his werewolf immunity and froze to death in the freezer. And Travis. He launched at Lara when he, she missed her chance to shoot Silas while hesitating. And the gun went off in the skull, killing him. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with White Wolf. Lara killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person. Surviving, surviving the night. And Silas he was killed in the dog. Kill the dog boy in the nest, and the curse is broken. Bam! <laughs> Alright, that's it, guys. I'm gonna let the credits roll, but I have to actually go now, because I have to head out in a few hours. But, uh, yeah. So, this has been a good replay to make up what happened to Max, and there you go. Bodies pile up summer camp massacre. Yep, what only four survivors. Who I meant to have five. Because Dylan's going to be the one, but whatever. <laughs> well, at one point, the way to respectfully uh, bury people was to put them in a pile and set it on fire. All the pile. All right. What does All right, guys. Mean, if not a I'll see you in Security fire. Breach. Or, um, Anyways, I'm pretty Security sure Breach, the next file, episode of Security Breach will be probably like next week. And I'm, I'm pretty sure. Or the next weekend. I really hope that. And uh, yeah, that I'll see you in The Devil in Me again. We'll be back with that. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry. All right. Now Take care, guys. This Bye. Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. 
Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. (sighs) Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really? There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you What are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found... At the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes, allegedly. Allegedly, yes, of course. That's, of re- that is that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I... I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate, yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, Uh closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm Mm-hmm, and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? <laughs> We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be. But what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of... this. I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here. My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's a strange. My god, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah. Something about this doesn't look like anything normal. Yeah, well, it's a vial full of fucking blood. So? So? What do you think? 
Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was expecting more, I guess. Why do people always say that to me? It'll be carved on your gravestone when you die. So dark. I know. Well, this is what we got. We gotta try and throw all the evidence together. Time to ink up our brain pens and ink draw up our some brain concrete. pens? Disgusting. You've never heard that phrase? It's a classic phrase. A classic phrase. Who said it first? Leave me alone. I'm tired. So, that it? What? No more cute photos to show? No, just the one. They only sent this, whoever they may be. I think we're being played. Well... Yeah, I'm out. This is nowhere near bona fide in my book. But quality over quantity. But only one, but very convincing. Right, but shouldn't it be both? And with no way to verify who your source is, the teenager who is bullying you, it doesn't matter how many pieces of evidence are dug up. Fine. Fine. I suppose you win. Hey, chin up. The integrity of this podcast relies on my cynicism. Think of it as quality control. All right. Well, I wouldn't have it any other way. And hey, I'm not saying that whatever happened wasn't weird, but I just can't honestly say anything else about it. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp remains shrouded in mystery because my friend Anton here, and we are just friends to everyone asking about our natural chemistry in what? the comments. As usual, Anton cannot be convinced. I hope you had fun anyways, and don't worry. We're always on the hunt for supernatural occurrences. Or natural occurrences. Supernatural occurrences. We're actually more interested in super because super is better than nothing in the hope that one day we will prove one as bizarre yet bona fide. For now, though, I guess some things are better left in the dark. The only people who will ever know the truth are those who experience these things. As for us, we're just happy you're listening. Thank you, and see you next time, bona fighters. You gotta stop calling them that. Can you dig what I found?